Hey guys, welcome back to my little corner of YouTube. Congrats to 1K. Hey, I'm so tired. Y'all just finished working out on my treadmill. So you'll see this. Why is it so dark? Echo light on. Here's my treadmill. You'll see that in a previous vlog before this one, my work week from home. But yeah, I just finished walking on the treadmill. I'm sorry, walking slash running. I've been doing, um, <laughs> I've been doing intervals because that seems to just help me to be able to run longer and faster. And yeah, so that's what I've been doing. I do intervals while I watch TV. I'm watching One Piece still. I've been watching One Piece y'all since I was in like college. Since I was in college, I've been watching One Piece and I'm still not finished. I'm on Land of Wano and Wano. <clears throat> Wano? Well, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Shame on me. But yeah, so that's what I do. Um, <sighs> this is going to be a super non-eventful 5 to 9. I'm sorry, 9 to 5. <laughs> 5 to 9 after my 9 to 5. I actually work from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., but... That's not going to work for the algorithm, so I have to put 9 to 5. But anyways, yeah, so I just, I made some Indian food last night. I'm going to go ahead and prep that. I have my naan in the kitchen, um, in the air fryer. I'm going to heat up the, the Indian food that I made last night, which is really, really good, shockingly, from out of a glass jar. And yeah, and I'm going to do my skincare. It's so dark. I'm going to do my skincare and read a little bit maybe. I just finished a book. I finished this book. I'll show you guys this book. But this is my skincare right here. So we have this um, Eliza Vecca Carbonated Bubble Clay Mask that we'll be doing. And then this Hell Pour Cleanup Mask from Eliza Vecca as well. This is the one that gets all the black kids out and stuff. So we're going to put this on first and then we'll do the Bubble Clay Mask. I need to take a shower because I'm disgusting and sweaty but I'm starving. I literally only ate one meal today, so. has beat me into the ground mm. these bills these bills up here just hit very differently they hit so differently <sighs> yeah but i'm doing this volunteer work here so i'm gonna put up with it i'm gonna put up with the new york the new york ways as much as i can but i'm just letting you guys know for future reference some things might be in the works to go home for a few months just to like chill and settle down at home and recoup but that's neither here nor there that's just he hearsay we'll see what actually happens i do have a surprise for you guys on monday the 11th of december i am commuting into work i'm commuting into work i'm so excited i'm going to Queen, uh, long island city we have a um, co-working space there that our company owns and or they run out, I guess, but there's a few floors and this building is huge. They have an entire floor for recreation and entertainment. So I'm definitely, I'm gonna vlog a day in the life going into work in New York City of all places. I'm so excited, so excited for that. So that vlog will be up before I leave for um, North Carolina. I'm so excited to take you guys on that. I'm gonna take the train down and we're gonna have ourselves a grand old time. Oh, I can't wait to do that one. But I'm super excited. I've never commuted into New York City in my entire life for work. I never thought I would be one of those people, but the opportunity presented itself and I really want to go check it out and just be one of those girls. I made it to where I'm getting off early as well. I'll be off at 2.30 p.m. So I'm going to hang around the city for a little bit, try to be home. I want to try to be home by 8 o'clock p.m. But we'll see because it's a two-hour, almost a two-hour train ride. So 
yeah, we're going to see what we're going to be able to squeeze in there. I do am planning on getting coffee and things like that, but that'll be in a future video. But yeah, so I just finished making my little checklist for North Carolina. I need to hurry up and eat something. I'm going to eat and wind down. So let's do that. She got me a little mic here. We're just going to see what the difference is, if there's any difference at all. Y'all let me know whether you like the mic better or y'all really don't give a darn. <laughs> I really don't care let me know because yeah I figured that this would be nice for when I'm outside I'm definitely gonna bring it whenever I go into work on Monday but let me know if there's a difference and whether y'all prefer or not or whether y'all don't care or don't see a difference let me know regular water I mean I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna drink this tonight but I had to do sparkling with a little bit of lemonade because why not why not so the reason why I mix juice with sparkling water is because it curbs my um, soda cravings I don't know about anyone else but it curbs my soda cravings or something in the meantime while we wait
Oh my god. Y'all hear that? This is gonna hurt so bad. <laughs> like, why do we do this to ourselves? Oh, let me start here. It hurts less here. Ooh, oh, it's not super bad. I say now. My eyes are gonna start watering. I gotta do this quick. Oh. Why? Why? Oh! Uh, just do it like Nike. <clears throat> Talking makes it so much better. Oh my god. Actually talking to you guys about something I don't know like I always say I feel like I should be more personable but I feel like I don't have anything to talk about so I just I don't want to be boring or ridiculous but yeah that's how I'm spending a Thursday night aka my Friday night <sighs> if most of you guys already don't know I do work nine I'm sorry four days a week Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. I work in the utilization and management and it's so boring it's so boring y'all they laid off like they laid off over 2,000 people recently and it's so crazy to me that they laid off these people okay and then immediately after laying them off proceed to tell us in the upcoming huge meeting how they're gonna be hiring a bunch of people coming in the new year like make it make sense Make it make sense. I probably look ridiculous talking to y'all right now. <laughs> this is getting so fuzzy. Um, but yeah, why do companies do this? I hate corporate. I hate corporate companies. Like they, I just, I don't understand their reasoning for most of their decisions that they make. It's just, it makes absolutely no sense to me at all. Like, come on y'all, come on. But we move, we move. It's, it's, it pays the bills. Also, um, I did have, I just had my, a uh, year review and we're not going to be talked to until like January or February my boss said about even about raises and I'm just like bro I'll be expecting this stuff to happen right away y'all talking about some two months from now actually the review was done November the 13th so it's going to be almost it's going to be about three almost four months before I can even talk to you about a raise like that's crazy and in April I'll be here for two years not me getting a raise after two years oh make it make sense but anyways yeah I'm, I'm just ranting stuff is stuff is crazy y'all I'll tell y'all when I go to my room I'm gonna wash this off in a minute and then uh get ready for bed wind down this video is almost over bear with me but I gotta talk to you guys about this book that I literally have just read in a span of two and a half days I finished it two and a half days we'll talk Before I go head off to bed, I have a book recommendation. I bet y'all didn't know I read, did, did y'all? Let me stop. So this is called Grumpy Romance. Crazy thing, I used to read like crazy back in high school. It's not crazy, everyone says this. I used to read like crazy back in school, like elementary, middle, like I was a book worm. Apparently, according to my mom, I taught myself how to read. I don't know how well I believe that, but I'm gonna take her word for it. But, um, I normally like period pieces and like things set in like ancient times. That's, those are type of books I read. I don't like really like romance novels and that lovey-dovey like 
Jane Eyre and whoever the heck that guy is who does all the lovey-dovey movies and stuff like I don't really like that type of stuff but a friend of mine had this book it's called um, Grumpy Romance by Nia Arthurs y'all when I type first off it's about a black lady <laughs> and a white dude <laughs> I mean come on anyways it's a single dad romantic comedy and I was like there's no way that a book can be considered romantic comedy of course romance yeah but comedy this book's not gonna make me laugh y'all this book had me freaking hollering okay hollering I stayed up it took me two and a half days to finish this book I stayed up till 2 40 something 2 46 a.m not last night last night I stayed up till 1 a.m finishing it but the night before that I stayed up till 2 46 a.m getting halfway through this book knowing I had to clock into work at 7 a.m that's how good that's how good this book was y'all like it's so it, it was just I really loved it and I haven't written an entire book and God knows how long, probably since the end of high school, probably since 12th grade, I had not read written a book in its entirety. Basically, the book is about a black woman who basically her life just comes falling apart within the first chapter. The first, the first, y'all, the first like seven or eight pages just get you. I was gonna, I was like, you know what? The first chapter, people be all boring or whatever, and then I just give up and I don't read books. This thing had you gripped by the throat at seven pages in. So I highly recommend it. Basically her life comes crashing down. She ends up getting this job with this man who is basically her boss, who's fine as heck apparently. <laughs> and he's just like, the banter between them two is just hilarious throughout the book. They are just really hot headed and it's just funny to see them go back and forth with each other. But he also is a father. So he has a story too as well, but I don't want to give any spoilers away. Y'all just need to read this book. There is a sequel as well that she has, my friend has. So I'm going to drop this back off to her. She lives like 15 minutes down the road. Drop this off to her at some point this week. Pick up the other one and start that one. But I just, I thoroughly enjoyed this. And like I said, I haven't read a book in this entirety since high school. That's been over a decade ago. So I highly recommend it's called Grumpy Romance. Um, I will link it on Amazon in the description box if y'all really interested if I can find it I'll put it a link down there, but y'all have got to read this Yeah, again, thanks y'all to 1,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. I really love you guys I love having this community over here. I'm kind of drifting away from Instagram again So I just love having YouTube to come and look forward to so this is really where this is really where the meat's at for me but yeah, hopefully everyone has a good evening. Thank y'all so much for coming on this little short um, five to nine after my nine to five. Hopefully everyone's work week finishes off strongly. Nothing bad happens to y'all. All good vibes. I'll see y'all again next week for another work from home vlog. Actually, we're working in the city. I keep forgetting. But yeah, take care guys. Have a good night. Bye.